Hi everybody, <clears throat> welcome to my very very first Spotlight Stamping class. Um, it's new for September 2023 and I can't wait to share the cards I've been making over the last few weeks. <clears throat> Please bear with me, I've come home from America with quite a horrible cold so um, I may cough a little but I do apologise. Please stick with me though. So today I am going to share with you card number one in a set of four cards that I've designed for this class. Um, the cards will go out live at midday every Tuesday throughout September. If you've ordered kits, then I hope they've arrived safely. Um, I've tried to organise it as well as I could. So you will see in your kits, you have a card for week one, week two, week three and week four. So everything you need will be for this card is in week one's envelope. Um, you will need some inks and I will show you which inks I have used um, in a moment. And I do hope you enjoy. <clears throat> If you haven't purchased kits, then please still enjoy the videos. I am running my next Spotlight Stamping in October and it will start on the 10th of October and will run for all four remaining Tuesdays in October. You can by all means order a kit and the kit will give you everything you need to make each of the four cards. Um, there are options to have it just in kit form or you can also order the stamp set and punch. For October I'm going to be using Trucking Along and I will share a sneak peek of those cards with you all next week so do stay tuned. As always everything I've used can be purchased from my online store you can find that at stacymarsh.co.uk. I have added this month's host code, or no it's this side, this month's host code to this demonstration so anything you order um, with that host code you will get a free gift from me um, it will be from the new mini catalogue that launches on the 6th of September and if you have any comments or questions please ask away and I'll do my very best to get back to you so let's make a little start and I will send you all over to my desk and I will share with you card number one okay <coughs> let's have a little move around so card number one looks like this um you may have seen on my instagram and my blog this week i shared um a card design that you would have found in your thank you in your kits as your thank you card a card using the same color um combination now i would usually have gone to a really bright vibrant floral pattern floral colors traditional floral colors for these cards but i wanted to do something quite different so i reached for my neutrals <clears throat> so the ink pads that i'm going to use today are crumb cake pebbled path early espresso and pecan pie now by all means if this isn't a color combination that suits you um please don't worry they're your cards you can make them in any color combination that you wish um just substitute the colors um that i've used for colors that you would like to use now what i will say is i have used the same colors for the same stamps throughout this set of cards and i would say that is the trick when doing something like this so for example the big flower i've used crumb cake the leaves the large leaves as i call them i have used early espresso and the centers of these ones i've used pecan pie which is here okay so on this card i haven't actually used the pebbled part so i'll put that out the way and I have used the little splatter. So this is the stamp set. I'll just move it so you can see it without my light shining on it. So this is the stamp set. Um, this is the splatter one that I've used, which I haven't just used on these cards. I've used it all over the place. Um, <clears throat> so let's just talk about the stamp set very briefly. It is a photopolymer stamp set, so you can see through the stamps. Um, nice, you see on all the cards I've used a lot of these stamps. They are what I would call a two-step stamp image. What I mean by that is you have the background image and then you have the second stamp to layer over it. 
So for example, here is the large flower. And then on the top, I've layered on the stamens to give it a little bit more detail. So let's jump in and start putting this card together. I'm just gonna move my ink pads up out of the way. So for this card, everything you need is in your envelope. And I prepared mine already <clears throat> for you. So let's just put that there. I'm using a little bit of grid paper today just because I didn't want to, I wanted to do something a bit different. So your card base is basic white card. I have used um, a thick basic white. It just gives the card a little bit more structure. And then you have a piece of pecan pie card. And that is going to be your background layer. And you can stick that on straight away. Just reaching for my glue. So that's just going to sit in the centre. Okay. Then you have a piece of white. Now that piece of white is just ever so slight. It's three millimetres smaller than your piece of pecan pie. <clears throat> okay, so you just get a little border showing of that brown cardstock showing around the outside. We're not going to stick that down because we're going to do our stamping. And then you have another piece of white that is exactly the same size. And that piece you're going to stick inside your card. Now what this does is this just adds a bit of strength to your card to balance out the weight of the front and the back. I do tend to do this with most of my cards. Okay, so we've got the front and the back started and we can put that to one side. The piece that we're gonna work on is this piece of white. Okay, so I'm gonna start by stamping my largest image and my largest image is this big flower. So I'm gonna stamp this in the crumb cake. Feel free to use a stamping mat if you wanted to. Stamping mat looks like this. Um, if you're stamping on a sort of firm surface, this helps just give a little bit of, of sponginess, technical term, to when you stamp. But because I've got my grid paper and that's quite, it's quite spongy, that will be fine. So I'm going to start with my large image and I'm going to stamp three of these. I'm going to stamp one off and I'm going to stamp one up out here. So the way this stamp is designed, it's what we call a distinctive stamp. And what that means is there's sort of texture built into it. So you won't get a flat sort of solid image every time. I quite like that. It adds a bit of definition to your stamping. OK, next I'm going to go in with my early espresso, the leaves that come along the bottom of the flower. And this I'm just going to line it up so that it sort of overlaps that flower, bottom of the flower. Like that. Now, early espresso, I'd forgotten how dark it is. Um, it will dry a bit lighter. Oh dear. And I'm doing it so that doesn't really overlap too much. There you have it. So that's our sort of background stamping done i've now got ink on my fingers i want to be really careful that i don't get that on my card okay so we have inside here some stamens and i'm going to stamp it with pecan pie and that's just going to go in that center sort of gap and this i think just makes this flower come alive i'll just show that with you so it's just added some really nice detail in the centres there. Okay. And then lastly, I want to do a little bit of stamping with this splatter stamp. And I'm going to show you a technique that I like to use. And it's what I would call two um, second generation. So first generation, we're going to ink up our stamp and stamp. You get a really nice true colour there. But now what I'm going to do is I'm not going to re-ink this and I would call this the second generation ink and I'm going to stamp. So what that gives you is that gives you, I'm just going to see if this will focus, that gives you a really nice sort of muted 
colour and I'm just going to stamp this sort of randomly across my card and I think it just adds a bit of depth in your background so I've done that with the crumb cake and I'm also going to do it with pecan pie so again I'm going to use that second generation of ink you could even use third generation if you wanted to but I'm just going to stick to second okay so now we have the background paper I can stick that onto my card front shaky hands lovely so that's my background paper all done I'm really pleased with that I love the depth of that early espresso ink there it really is really pigmented and quite vibrant I love that so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create our little center piece so I'm using the birthday blooms for you sentiment and I'm stamping this with early espresso and your tag has been cut from crumb cake so it's always nice to add in different tones of the same colour by mixing ink and card. So I've got my birthday blooms for you sentiment. And then before we stick that on, I'm going to take our bit of wavy trim and I'm going to just fold it in my hand sort of over three times. So once twice three and that gives you sort of a a fake bow as such and what you're going to do is you're going to stick that attach that to the back of your banner I'm just going to put that there to hold it in place and I'm going to secure it with a little bit of tear tape okay so a little bit of tear tape will hold this in place for you perfect and then I've got two little vellum die cut pieces now this die is actually the textured floral die so it coordinates with this suite and I'm going to just overlap them slightly and I'm going to stick that down with some tear tape okay and you're not going to see this so it's absolutely fine so that I've just stuck down about there and I've left it so that it's nice and free flowing it just gives a little bit more texture on your card and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to put my banner in place with some dimensionals which I had here on my desk a moment ago but they seem to have gone for a little walk so I'm going to use some of this that I've got so this is basically dimensionals, but it's the foam adhesive sheet, which you can see I've cut some letters out. And this sort of excess is really handy. So I'm going to put my dimensionals in the gap where there's no ribbon. I'm going to put a bit of that there. And a bit of this, a bit of this and a bit of that there. get that in place where I'm happy with it and I'm happy there and stick it there and then all I've got left to finish is I've got a few little gems but I actually put all your gems in your card kits so all I've done is I've added two little gems there and there and a one over there but that is card number one all finished you could if you wanted to add some detail inside or to your envelope I haven't I've left mine blank um, but watch this space for the next cards so I hope you enjoyed putting that card together if you did anything different with it please feel free to share it back to me um, tag me on social media or pop it to me in a message I love to see your creations um, you will find the next video premiering at the same time next week so Tuesday at midday and the card we're going to make next week looks like this and that's all you're going to see I'm not going to show you anymore so have a lovely lovely week everybody and i look forward to you joining me next week see you later